uh, Hassan's arrival uh, in Canada and, and presence here is sort of the, the uh, practical manifestation of the old uh, adage that uh, every cloud is a silver lining. The cloud he is referring to is the revolution in Iran in the late 1970s. And guess what? We here in this province and in this city have been a huge beneficiary of that. In particular, he's talking about Hassan Hosh Roshahi, whose Tehran-based family business had grown significantly over a 40-year period and was nationalized in 1978. When I started in the company, he had some 20 employees. When I left Iran in uh, 1978, he had 6,000 employees. Forced out of his company and his home, Hassan and his family came to Vancouver to start again. But where to start? How to start? What to start? As is his way, Hassan researched opportunities and came up with two, land development and electronics. The electronic business attracted me because there were two things. The business was growing, and as I looked around, I saw that the retailing of electronics was serviced very badly. In retrospect, it sounds like a good idea. However, at the time, no one was doing it. In fact, Hassan was told he'd lose his shirt. First, when I uh, opened the store, I thought, uh, maybe I will open the store and nobody will come. So there'll be general laughter. <laughs> so, and Everybody in the business here predicted we are going to go bankrupt. That did not happen because Hassan had seen an opportunity others had missed. Adaptability and mental agility are two of his many strengths and they were talents he needed to call upon to meet the challenges of the market he was creating. He was thinking with a different model. Then we decided to go to Ontario and everybody said that, oh that's a dangerous Thing to do and you are going to be eaten alive and here we started in Ontario and fortunately we were very successful there. Yes he was. Future Shop literally transformed the way consumers in Canada shop for electronics and they did it all with one of the biggest names in the business refusing to supply them. It was like trying to fight somebody with one hand tied behind your back. But fight he did. Future Shop defied the odds and the naysayers. The company soared and along the way caught the eye of a rising young star from south of the border who wanted to work for and with Hassan. It was his vision for Future Shop and his view that it could be the largest consumer electronics retailer in North America. Today, Future Shop is just that, a part of the largest electronics retailer in North America. The selling of Future Shop is further proof that Hassan is a man of vision. He foresaw the exact moment to sell the company to Best Buy, which kept the name because of the brand. It's still the best known name in Canada in that business. And as if building an electronics superstore weren't enough, at the same time he also invested his attention and himself into the development sector. And Westwood Plateau, at the time, it was the largest um, single residential development project in Canada, let alone in BC, a, you know, a massive project. Massive, and its success was uncertain. The risk we took was the market risk. And once again, the people who were in the business said these guys are going to lose their shirt. And once again, Hassan and his team proved the so-called experts wrong. BC has been good to Hassan Hashrashahi, and in turn, he has been a strong and generous contributor to his new home. He gives back to the community, I mean, on many different levels. And um, whether that was creating jobs with Future Shop or creating growth uh, within that organization, or whether it's in a real estate space and building out communities, Westwood Plateau or Burke Mountain or even part of the Ridge, Whatever space he's in, he's always there 100%. He's not there partially. And that's how I see him for Canada and for BC. He's here for 100%. A significant portion of that 100% is in how he and his wife support numerous organizations. He says less about this than anything else. 
but he and his wife have been major benefactors to, to our community.